Ferris. Ferris, I know you're in here. You can come back to the cabin. Arushka says you're okay. I take back what I said. Ferris! Request to access female subject denied until completion of triumvirate hearing. Please step away from discipline center. We only want to visit her, okay? She hasn't been convicted of anything. Junior citizens are not permitted into discipline center unless accompanied by an adult. Okay, officer. You're an adult, so you can accompany us. Correction. I am operative number 451, a hologrammatic presence. Please step away from discipline center immediately. Well, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. <laughs> Hey, what's that? Just a patina atomizer. Funny, I had designs for an atomizer just like that in my notebook. My very private notebook. Really? What a coincidence. It sure is. Just like the computer hacking game you invented. And the bubblegum dispensing apparatus you used for your science project. Must be hard having a genius for a sister. Well, it wouldn't be if she didn't look in my notebook. Oh, come on, Noah. I had to. There might have been a clue. You disappeared. Remember? Actually, I'm impressed you got it to work. I thought you could do this in cheering up. Thanks. What is it? Protein fudge. The best. Totally melts in your mouth. The kids at school are crazy about it. Of course, fudge isn't for everyone. I'm sorry. I feel like I've let you down. And had to go through everything and end up like this. <sighs> it's not your fault. It's just, I, I don't understand. What have I done wrong? Why are they treating me like this? Try and see it from their point of view. It's like I disappear topside, out in the snow, and when I come back, I've got you. And then I tell them that we've travelled back from the future. It's, it's hard to believe. Yeah, but Cindy and Paul didn't even listen. They're just a couple of bozos. Now, as far as they know, Geneva is officially someone who cannot exist. They're freaked out of their minds. We'll get you back to Haven. I promise. We'll have to find a pair of PhDs and a power source. How are we going to do that? Cynthia and Paul confiscated them. And they closed the holodeck. We'll find a way. Confirm all in order, operative number 451. Repeat. Confirm all in order, operative number 451. No visitors permitted in the discipline centre. No worries, we were just leaving. Please explain your role in the malfunction of operative number 451. Uh, yeah, no, he was like that when we got here. He must have a faulty holo program. Please leave discipline centre immediately. Okay, okay, we're going. Don't get your neurons in a knot. It'll be all right, Geneva. Don't worry.
Where is she? We've got work to do. Where is he? He? Sundance. Is he missing? Don't play dumb. Have you seen him? You're worried. He's a friend. Arushka, we're no longer enemies. If I knew anything, I'd tell you. claims to use these PhDs and the power source of the holodeck to travel into the future. I'm aware of that. Surely you're not entertaining such an idea. You of all people know the limitations of the holodeck. Noah has never lied to me. If he says it's the truth, then it must be. Why would I come up with such a strange idea? If I knew the answer to that, then perhaps we wouldn't be in this predicament. And as for you, young lady, I hope that you're prepared to stop playing these silly games and start telling the truth. Leave her out of this. I have a solution. Why don't we test Noah's theory once and for all? If he can demonstrate this remarkable feat, his story is proven. That is a radical proposal, Doctor. To say the least. I must ask you all to wait outside while Paul and I give this our full consideration as you wish i hope you realize what a difficult position i'm in i've lost my vote on the triumvirate i have no authority in the situation why don't you just quit he can't triumvirate members are elected for life if there was just something more i could do we're grateful for any help you may re-enter Despite our reservation, we have agreed to test this outlandish time travel claim. Of course, uh, we have to make sure that there is adequate equipment available. It could take some time to arrange. You have until tomorrow evening. Are you sure this is a good idea? You're flirting with the unknown. It could be very dangerous. It'll be okay, Mum. The triumvirate has decided. Return the girl to the discipline center. I don't want to go back there. One moment. Returning detainee to discipline center as instructed. As a member of the triumvirate, my request supersedes all previous orders. The girl stays here with me. You're dismissed. You're free. Isn't it just a bigger cage?
Dolly. Dolly, it's all right. Where's Sundance? So, you were the last one to see Sundance. Where was he? In the deep road. Someone followed him. Who? I didn't see. It was real dark. And then I got scared. I started to run back. Why didn't you come straight to us? Because I saw the Shadow Master. In the deep road? Yes. He sent you a message. Well? He says Nora and Geneva are not coming back. They're safe, but they can't leave North Cole. They won't bring back any equipment. So the battle is over before it started. He said that last bit was real important. Let me get this straight. The only way the Shadow Master could possibly know about Noah is if he could time travel too. Otherwise, how did he know we needed stuff to stop the Electronets? You know, for someone who's not supposed to exist, you're looking pretty good. What does this do? Here, I'll show you. And if the experiment works, will you come back? Well, it'll work, I'm positive. The night I disappeared, I was trying a few sequences based on quantum equations. I guess I hit on the right sequence to rearrange the photons. And then? I'm in another dimension of hyperspace. From there, it's just a matter of mathematics to make me go back and forward as much as I want. I bet you any money he doesn't know what he's on about. Hmm. Remarkable that a boy like you could achieve. It's a great feat. Perhaps when you come back, we could uh, work on it together. Sure, I don't see why not. Excellent. Excellent. I look forward to it. But first, I've got to get Geneva home. It's not right that she stays here being treated like a criminal. Ta-da! You look, uh, really nice. Really nice? She's a knockout. Welcome. My name is Aqua, leader of the Sand Tribals. And you, I know, are Sundowns. <laughs> we have important business with you. But first, you must rest. Yes, sir. Lovely. What's it like? Having your own personal freak. Get back in your box, Morgan. Come on, let's go get you some new clothes. I'm really not going to be staying that long. Oh, I'll just wait here anyway. Is it house trained? Are you? Take no notice. We have goons here just like protectors in Haven. So all this was set up before the comet hit? Yeah. It was just a deep earth research station. People worked here. And when the Nemesis Comet hit and life on Earth was destroyed, people down here, like our parents, survived. But they're not the only ones who survived. What about all the people in Haven? Well, their parents must be living underground somewhere else right now. In those conditions, all that snow, how do they do it? It's hard to imagine. Do you really like it here? 
compared to Haven, there's no fresh air, no trees, no desert. Won't you miss all that? I don't know, I guess so, but, but this is my home, like Haven's yours. So I suppose I have to like it. Even if there's, even if there's always going to be a part of me in Haven, I belong here in North Cole. Pathetic. Yes. That's it then. We must find a new mine. We've scoured Haven already. Then we must look again. Somewhere there will be fresh, rich deposits of thunderstone. And there will be the cradle of a new civilization. What if this is where the animals are? They will be eliminated just as soon as I manage to get the electronets going. We're supposed to be at peace with Tau. Supposed to be? Unless he makes a move against us, we don't move against him. He is deceiving you. He simply wants slaves. There are many sand tribes in the mines, the results of Tau's raids over the mountains. Didn't you fight back? We sand tribes are pacifists. We do not fight. We simply... Try to avoid him. How long can he keep doing that? <laughs> Tell me about the animals. I've heard tales of them from beyond the mountains and how the protectors are afraid of them. That's true. And this boy, Noah, is it true that he brought them as if by magic from the grey forgotten years? Yes. Does he have the power to defeat Tao? Maybe. But he's gone home. Home? Back to the past. We have a legend. That a stranger from the shadows will release us from tyranny. I had wondered if Noah... We need more than a legend. We need a miracle. complete. Wait till they see you in Haven. No, I've been thinking. If it works out tonight, and if I do get back there... Don't worry, you will. I will have failed. What do you mean? I'm supposed to bring back something to stop the electronets. First things first, okay? We can't do anything with this lot on our back. Tonight's gonna prove our story and get you out of trouble. We'll worry about the electronets afterwards. What if they bring back the equipment from the past to sabotage them? It will not happen. Such is the key. Are you there, Tao? Over. What is it? The Nomad Girl is here. Send her in. Alone. Come in, Arushka. You. Show your face. That is not possible. Where is Sundance? I know nothing of him. Your message. Is it true? Yes. What? That Noah and Geneva will never return. How do you know? If a boy like Noah can move through time and space, I can do it a hundredfold. I am everywhere. The fate of heaven is just one of my responsibilities. I am all-powerful. If you're all-powerful, why have we been able to escape you? My servants are not efficient at times. But there is something that you must understand. In the greater scheme of things, you and your friends are irrelevant. Nothing. You became a little more important when you moved the animals to Haven, but not as important as you think. <laughs> 
No, please. There are too many things that might go wrong. There's no risk, Mum. I know what I'm doing. You're not going to stop him. I would assume that if you do succeed in making this bizarre journey, you'll come straight back again. As soon as I've seen my friends. But Geneva won't be returning. She'll be home. Well, get on with it then. Good luck, my boy. You realise that if this works, you'll have changed our whole perception of the universe. It'll work. Thanks for taking care of me. Somebody had to. Thank you. You recording, Mum? Recording. All right, here we go. something wrong. That would seem to prove conclusively that Noah is a liar. As we all know, lying is the worst possible crime in our society. No, I didn't... We cannot condone such a serious breach of the law. Noah will have to pay the price. No, you don't understand. He will now join the girl who calls herself Geneva in the discipline centre. It should have worked. Something went wrong. 